Former South Carolina governor and former UN ambassador Nikki Haley uh, has been in the headlines quite a lot recently over the last couple of weeks. She recently actually gave a speech. Um, it was at the uh, uh, Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute in California. And during this speech, she of course attacked the left, which let's be honest, if you're going to be attacking the other side, typically a good indication that you're going to be running against them in the future and you want to get people on your side. And she also said that this hatred of America is the biggest threat to our country. Here's how she put it. The barbarians of the world fear nothing more than a strong United States with the confidence and courage of our convictions. National self-loathing is the most important mission of our time. Republicans cannot make the mistake that the Democrats have. That message was our message first. We must once again ask the American, uh, we, mu we must once again take it to the American people, which is believe in America, right? A um, little confusing there, okay? America's self-loathing. Well, we know what that means. That means people who go out there and talk about the fact that, hey, things aren't wonderful in the United States. They could be, but because of the decisions of 536 individuals in Washington, DC, they're not. Plain and simple. That of course would be your 435 from the House, your 100 in the Senate, and your one being the president of the United States. You know what? We'll throw in the nine on the Supreme Court too, because they suck just as much. It's not anti-American to criticize bad policy here in the United States, but Nikki Haley wants people to think it is, but more importantly, who gives a damn what she thinks? Well, we should, because this is a presidential style speech that she gave there. You don't bring up themes. You don't attack the other side if you don't have something to gain from it. We have seen plenty of former politicians like Haley herself go out and give speeches where, yeah, they'll go after one side a little bit here or there, but not to this level and not with a message. See, that's the key. She has framing. She has an agenda and it's becoming increasingly obvious that that agenda is to run for president in 2024. Of course, there's always the catch and the catch is what the hell is Donald Trump going to do? Nikki Haley also has a plan for that in case you were thinking she's not actually considering running for president. And she recently told the press that, Hey, I'm going to look at it. And in early 2023, I'm going to call Donald Trump and I'm going to see what he's going to do. And from there, I'll decide what I'm going to do and we'll talk it out and work it through together. So maybe Nikki Haley's not running for president. Maybe Nikki Haley's running for vice president. After all, Donald Trump and Mike Pence went through a very bitter breakup. Pence is out there trying to put on a brave face, acting like, no, it was totally amicable. We're still super best buds. And Trump wants nothing to do with him. So if he did run again, he'd need somebody to go along with him. Maybe somebody to shore up one of the weakest parts of Trump's campaign. And that is suburban women. Nikki Haley would actually do a good job of helping him with that demographic. Here's the thing, Nikki Haley, I'm not going to call her a moderate Republican, but obviously compared to Trump, she's a bit of a moderate. She has most of the same positions, just none of the abrasive packaging. She's lower taxes, get rid of taxes, cut the taxes, cut the taxes. You know, oh, let's push charter schools. Oh, I'm totally pro-life. Oh, we got to do something about immigration. You know, all the usual talking points you can find in her voting record as governor of South Carolina. You find it in her record as a, you know, representative in South Carolina. It's all there. Trust me, I know I looked before I did this segment, by the way. That's who she is. She is a staunch conservative. She checks every little box that they could have, except for one, actually. Uh, see, earlier this year, she made a statement that might hurt her chances with Donald Trump when she said, Trump has lost any sort of political viability he was going to have. 
I don't think he's going to be in the picture. I don't think he can. He's fallen so far. Uh, see, that was from February. Well, hey, maybe they've patched things up by then, right? Because Nikki Haley obviously doesn't want to piss him off now. You know, granted, a couple months ago, she's like, yeah, dude's totally done. Don't worry about that. He's, he's old news. And now she's saying like, well, I'm going to call him in 2023 and we're going to figure this out together. Yeah. She's running for something. It may not be president, but by God, she's fighting to be on that presidential ticket one way or another.